I'm back in Donegal and I'm in the Clan Doan Mountains and this is Loch Barra beautiful loch uh, about what, half eight in the morning so it was a clear night and a bit misty there's, there's cloud rolling off the tops and blue skies is what I like so it looks like that's going to be what the day is and pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm just making my way along the lock. Um, it's quite warm, a bit of a breeze. And I'm going to go around the lock, and that's Moreland Ave, so that's where I'm going today. And it's quite a steep climb, and I'll cross the River Barra on the way. It's beautifully calm, absolutely beautiful, really, really still, um, just gorgeous. And the last time I was here was 2005, so that's like 13 years ago. And uh, I'm doing it a wee bit differently today, and I think that's a good thing to do. Um, I've got my gaiters on, it's, it was quite wet the last time I was here, and it looks quite wet today, but it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. We wee bit of a beach, um, I think the only people that would be on this would be the, well not even people, the only, the only things that would be on this would be the sheep, and it looks like it's well trampled, all the, all the prints in the sand. Nice and easy walking, suppose before we get on to the under the rough stuff and this should take us up to the the river Barra and we'll have to cross it to, to access the mountain this is the river Barra looks quite deep here and I'll have to follow it up a bit to see where I can get across and hopefully I will be able to I've had to walk quite a bit up the river, really deep, and here's where I'm at now. So it's got nice and shallow, but I'm still going to have to move it across. So just to make sure that I've got my rivers on, and we're not too bad here.
as you can probably hear it's quite squelchy so I'm on a bit of a flat area before I, I hit the hillside and it's just absolutely saturated uh, but it's not too bad I won't be long before I'm across I'm actually floating basically the whole the whole ground floating so hopefully my foot doesn't go through bit of rhododendron growing out here uh, there's someone down there near that stand of trees but uh, man it's uh, it pops up everywhere so it does yeah Here's the lock. We've got a bit of a trump over Rack Round uh, and find a way across the river but we're nearly uh, on, on the steepest ground and there's a bit of a a bit of a line going up there then we'll use that just to, to follow up to the summit so uh, looking good uh, still a wee bit of wee bit of mist sort of tumbling over the summit but uh, nothing much Nice view of the loch now. Um, it's really nestled here in this this valley with, with very very little in it, just a few houses. And if you're looking across, that's the Derry Bay Mountains, and you can see the the really steep sheer sides of of the Bingorms, and that's all the way back up the valley. And still a wee bit of cloud up in the top over there and round to that small nave which we're which we're heading up. up here in the summit uh, at a bike deep just behind the cairn and I had to put my gloves on but I had cold hands anyway really cool views down over the loch now and over across to the Derry Vase and we should get some really nice views as we head down um, a wee bit misty just with the uh, I don't know, it was an easterly wind today, so some parts seem fairly clear and, and, and some not so. But uh, the lock's looking stunning.
northern side of Mullinev and you can see the road below and it's like pretty much a, a straight drop down and you can see the, the steepness of the hills across uh, the valley over the Derry Vays and that's Errigal and that's a pretty iconic mountain here in Donegal just where it's uh, sort of volcanic shape and you have a line of mountains going all the way up um, to Duish and, and Muckish Mountain up, up to the north A really nice wee gully here. You see it cutting down through the rock. Nice wee channel. Uh, a couple of trees hanging on in there as well. Followed the river up, uh, quite a climb. We're up just over a thousand feet, and I probably came more than I thought, but it was just too nice. I scrambled most of the way up the river, um, really cool, loads of waterfalls, and I'm now 
open a lot of barnas as you can see we're right up in the heart of the mountains again and there's a bit of light still over on this side we're in the shade over here Climbing over and then dropping back down again. There's a couple of other wee locks on up there, but uh, I don't think I'll be heading that way. Descending down, um, you can see the loch, Loch Barra, and I'll probably be joining the river. You see the river dropping down there, and it's a stunning evening, absolutely stunning. The sun's uh, probably going to be dropping down behind, behind the mountain shortly, uh, but just absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Back at the car, it's uh, just about five o'clock, and the last wee bit of light is sort of just with us. And there's nearly a full moon, which is casting a, a lovely line of light across the lock. So, it's been quite a good day, beautiful weather, um, very well underfoot. That's that's a thing here, yeah, but. Uh, it was a really, really good day. 